well, well, well. This beautiful sunny afternoon. Here we are. Got a call from my friends. My friends that were just swept. Hi, Walter. Yeah, I, was trying, I was trying to eat. Yeah. I'm gonna pick up my trash. I don't even have much here. He has. He just has to leave. He wants my. He wants my data first. I was just, I'm trying to eat, bud. You wouldn't even. You didn't give him your information, no. did you? I my name. Stuff. I was trying to eat. I was in the middle of eating. I already picked up the stuff. Yeah. And he's like, I have to be out now or something. And when it's the store, he's something to eat. Like I abandoned it or something. I'm like, you gotta be ridiculous. You gotta be kidding. You know? I have to leave during the day? No. I know I've been, I had some mess here. I was picking it up. Yeah. You know, he brought me a bag and shit. Like, everybody kept harassing me while I was trying to eat. Of course it's the first did. time I eat. First time I'd eaten all day. Huh. I was like, man, I can't take this, man. They don't need Rise up walking around my thing. Buzzing me. Like, 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 it's during the day. Hey, I'm Jen, not even doing nothing. So what's the problem? What are you doing? Eating lunch? Yeah. Is that I'm the crime? You have to leave now? They're running your name. Did you give them your full name? Did you? You don't need to give them your information. They're going to run Walter here to see what they can do to him. This nice Sunday afternoon that's quickly cooling down for a snowstorm that's moving in. Another unpredictable spring snowstorm. Yeah, which I, I did have bone for it. I just missed my feet. Yeah, because they're busy. Oh, really? Yeah, because I got my legs right here, man. Awesome. I just missed it. You, know? you don't, don't even. Don't no, I'm even. just saying, they, they said I was driving out of lights. But you went? Yeah, yeah, no, not only can I miss court, it's right on the on. phone. You can do it over the phone now, I guess. Yeah, it's over the phone. Yeah, yeah traffic court. Yeah, yeah it's still. I didn't know still... that I was all the way down there. And I, did not, did not miss it I didn't have my phone with the charge, so I went home and called the next day and they were cool about it. They just missed it, so. Ghost Raider. I just got the expired, expired plate. Wants me to scream out. Hey, Ranger! It's Ranger! 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 Ran
criminal about what's going on here. I don't, I don't know what's exciting. You don't know what he's citing him for? He just told you to come to come cover him because Walter chewed his ass out? I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure that's what Walter did because Walter just wanted to eat his lunch and mind his own business like he always does. But, you know, they just got done sweeping him just a few days ago. And so here we are harassing the hell out of him again for not leaving the park, what, immediately on his demand? You should tell him to leave so you could go back to doing your job of, you know, stopping violent crime. Help, I'm helping however I can. Yeah, but he's wasting your time. This is, a, this is a waste of resources for you to sit here and give this park ranger cover from a peaceful homeless guy. I mean, really, why are you here? Why do you need to be here for him? Just because he asked? Yep. Really? Is that how that works? Yep. Not usually. Doesn't work like that for citizens. Takes you guys hours to respond to shit. You got here in less than, what, 15 minutes? For a homeless guy? Can I have your card, please? Sure. Yeah, we're on the homeless like stink on shit. But assaults, things like that, hours and hours response time. But damn Skippy, here we are for a guy eating his lunch in the frickin' park. Just more from, you know, that place. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Smith, badge number 19-021. Providing cover for the Pussy Park Ranger. The PP Ranger. Hey, Walter. Yeah. You want to talk to me, Huh? You well, you don't have to take I, this. I just wonder if you want to talk to me, you should know, please officer. I'm trying to drink so over. Yeah, you don't have to take that I'm, citation from him either. I don't, so. know what, like, I don't know why you have to keep, why you have to be like that. It's like, I got to 11. I was picking it up. You know, I picked it up. I was getting ready to go, but I was just trying to eat. He just, he said that extra enjoyment of sitting there. Keep, Has he eat. been over here other times today? Earlier this morning. I was hoping to, you know, he said he'd give me a job, but I already got that all taken care of. I was earlier, you know. I guess it wasn't out. You know. So why do you, why do you have to leave during the course of the day? Someone called and said they didn't like Someone me. Someone called. They didn't like me here. Yeah, you know? fuck that noise. That's what happened. You know what that one time was? Someone it? called. Someone called. That's why he picked up my stuff that one time. Like, yeah, so what about this guy and his stuff? I'm not sure. Hmm. Has he talked to everybody here? Or just uh, you? I'm not sure. Huh. Hey, has this park ranger talked to you? Yeah. Over here? Did you give him your name? You leaving? Yeah. The park ranger last night said yeah. till Tuesday? The 4 a.m. park ranger, huh? Yeah. Told you that. Interesting. And this afternoon, according to this park ranger, they got to leave today. I mean, look, this is a beautiful stretch of park. This is where families come to enjoy the mud in the shit right next to the uh, Autobahn. But Mr. Park Ranger here, he's on a power trip. So he had this cop look up your information. That's what ended up happening. So if that stuff is on that ticket, he got it from the cop. That's why you don't give him your name. Just in case you don't know your job, you have no authority and that can go right in the trash. You really called the cop out here to back you up? Seriously? You're gonna write Walter a ticket for eating lunch in the fucking park? And you got afraid of him because he told you off? The park like that if you took Walter, I am issuing a citation today. For what? Yeah, shove it up uh, your ass. For dumping and for, for refusing dumping. to identify yourself. Refusing to identify? I, I, I right on! Is that an actual charge? I told you who I was. Charge? I told you my name. 
And you what, don't have to identify. Fuck him. Tell him to, to get the, the fuck out of here. You have to leave he has no authority. Leave. You have no authority. I'll be right back. Okay, bye. I didn't leave. You can't get the dumps if I don't leave. You knew who I am. You talked to you earlier. Refusal to ID. Did, can you help this park ranger with the law for refusal to ID? Do we have a new law in Colorado for refusal to ID? I don't know what he's citing him That's what he's citing him for. Refusal to ID. So he called you. You gave him Walter's information. You ran Walter on your system. You're going to IA. Okay. Yes, you fucking are. You literally just ran his name so he could give him a citation. Why don't you cite Walter since you just ran his name? Because he needed the information. I had. It doesn't work that way. I didn't dump nothing either. It I, does I didn't, not work that way. And I didn't dump nothing either. I didn't have that trash. It does, it does so not work that nothing. way. And I told him who I was. My name. It doesn't matter. You don't have to. Like, no. Walter, you don't you have to. Shove it up your ass. Online, you can pay. Tell him to shove it up to, his can't ass. Can't you go to court? Can't you go to court? It's an administrative, no. it's administrative ticket. Citation. It goes That's in right. the trash. Three hundred dollars? It goes in the trash. Three hundred dollars? It goes in the trash. Do you have any questions? Yeah, I, I gave him my name and I didn't dump nothing. How's he give me a ticket for three hundred dollars when I didn't do it? Yeah, come on, yeah, Officer yeah, Smith. How am I getting a ticket for? I we called you for backup. And for not giving my name, I told who I was. And you give me a three hundred dollar ticket? I can't go to court for. It? Yep, you can that's right. If you'd like, I'd like, I'd in like administrative to, court, to to where you lose. I didn't dump it. He, 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 he said I was going to harass me I was trying to eat. He's trying to help you, sir. No, he wasn't. Well, how, how do you know? He's trying to answer your questions if you have questions. No, I'm asking you how you let this guy give me a ticket with $300 and can't go to court for it when you know I didn't do it. Him, I know what he's doing. You just facilitated harassment. Feel better. Officer Smith, is your body cam on? Yeah. Okay. So now I get the you just facilitated because harassment. Feel better. Not because of what I did wrong. It's after this game. He gave me a ticket before that to call you. He gave me a ticket after you showed up. So what exactly. Because he ran your he name. Wrong. It's because he's trying to get back. It's because of enjoyment. How is that what failure you, to ID if he gave you his you know damn saying? name? You didn't do, I didn't do nothing wrong. I can't go to court. Why are myself? you guys such damn little tyrants? Jesus, go get a new job. For fuck's sake. Have you ever taken the time to get to know Walter? Have you? No, you haven't. Holy shit. He's harmless. He hurts no one. And you want to come out here and act like this? He needs to stay in compliance with park regulations. No, you need to get a new fucking job. Okay. Every, every single person in this park needs your attention long before Walter does. I speak to everybody I can. Oh, well, bullshit. You harass. And you called the fucking cop to run Walter's information. You two are a couple of fuckers. Hey, thanks. I'm going to head out. Right, thanks, sir. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Bad job, Officer Smith. Boo! You're going to IA. Walter. No, you said you were leaving. I'll be I'll be back to make sure that you're gone. Or You'll be we'll back to make sure he's gone or what? At 11 p.m. Or, what? or what? Or what? Or what? Or what? You fucking tyrant. Take that trash and go dump it. That's your fucking job. Trash. Pick up trash and go dump it. That's all you're good for. Where do you think the trash comes from, ma'am? It comes from all over the place. It's true, it does. Yeah. So go it. pick it up. I and go dump the well. trash cans. Have a great day, man. Yeah. Kick rocks. Fucking tyrant. Throw it in the trash, Walter. I can take it if you don't want it. It's part of the trash. Do you want it? Okay, yeah, that's important. Thank you. Hey, thanks for moving your RV, David. I really appreciate that. Uh, you How want me? Come you're not do you want me to pick him? up this trash right now? How come you're not uh -huh. citing him? That's more trash right there than Walter has. How come you're not citing him? Thank huh? you. Man. No, you're not going to answer that, you little Thank fucking you, tyrant. You. you fucking punk.
Wow. Walter, listen to me. Listen to me. If I have to tell you guys a million and one more times, Sorry. don't give them your name. Okay. You are not obligated to talk to them. Look what they do every single time. Huh? Fuck no, they're not. Are you committing a crime? Are you committing a crime? that needs a law enforcement officer right now? I didn't think so. No, you're not. You are not obligated to talk to a park ranger. They are rangers, they are not cops. They have zero authority for criminal process. Zero. I and I know you guys just try to get along, yeah, I but know. Walter, I God but damn, he, he was, you he know it every time. Yeah, he was pissing you off, so that's why he gave you a ticket. Because yep. you hurt his fucking feelings. Dumping 150. Compliance identification? I gave him my name. That's what I don't get. I gave, how do you get, give me a ticket when you know that I didn't dump because I haven't left yet? <sighs> you haven't even left. So it's not dumping. What a dick. What a dick. And then I, I, I told him my name yesterday. I told him my name Compliance earlier. Compliance identification. I didn't give him my birthday, but I gave him my name. But I'm not getting a ticket either. As far as no I know. one is obligated to ever talk to the park rangers. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. I'll be you're right, you know. I know you're just conversation. trying. I don't, I don't want to enter into a con consensual conversation with you. With, uh, that you don't have. That, you can just tell him, leave me alone. And that's it. And then you're going to have to sit there and probably listen to him badger you for a little while. And I know that's what they do to you. And it pisses you off. And you try to avoid that confrontation. You try to be cooperative. But you can't. You just have to remain silent. They're fucking assholes. Non-refundable $25 fee to object to them giving you a ticket. You, you, won't, you won't win that in administrative court. They want the money from you. That's what they want. This, that's how Parks operates. This is a revenue operating scam. You get the kind of a lottery money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not all they get. Park maintained property. <laughs> you kidding? Yeah, yeah, this is I what know. I was this talking about. Park, how the, beautiful the it is. Location, park maintained property. You look down, you go, okay. That they're responsible for maintaining it. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? They must need more money to be Yeah, they do a great job maintaining the parks. Well, look at that. He tried, he tried to put like 750 on her. What? <laughs> idiot. He is. Where, where the fuck does he think you're going to come up with $300? I know. I don't know. Yeah, he's... Walter. He, he's telling he must know. Because somebody came by and harassed me yesterday. Some guy, some kid said he owned this shit and we were supposed to leave or something. like, whatever. Then he comes... Yesterday, you know, and started talking stuff like that. Like, I have to leave. I, like, I can't be here. You've, I've had that happen to me at other parks, too. Because I wish I would have got... We said they had their camel. I don't know for sure. I have to go back and check on that. This is ridiculous. But of course, you can't pay money to get any evidence from them, either. Walter, you got to remember. I didn't think I didn't they're know not trying. They're not trying to work with you guys anymore. You have to get that in your head, okay? There's yeah, no reason to it. try to cooperate. Nobody's concerned about your wraparound services, but me and one other person, not the city. They want to see you suffer. I need you to get that in your head. I know this is a horrible freaking thing to say uh, right I'm now, I'm but listening. I'm listening. You gotta learn as they you, go. You just that one guy. You are me, such a good Denver. guy, and you try so freaking hard. I do. You cannot try with tyrants. It does. It's a no-win situation. It's a no win. It sucks. They don't even need to know your fucking first name, Walter. They don't need to know you. They don't give a fuck about They've you. They've all been cool except for this dude. All the punk I've met before have always been pretty don't, cool. But, you you know. gotta loop them all into the same group because it's one fucker that ruins it for everybody. Yeah, because that sets the precedence when he's, they do shit like that. He's on a mission, that's for sure. Yeah, you, you cannot trust them. It's just like the cops. You, you, you know how far you can get with that. Not. Yeah, I don't argue with the cops, that's for sure. It just, unreal. He literally called that fucking cop. He was here in less than 15 minutes. Five, five minutes, I think. Yep, to five. run you. 
Somebody gets assaulted out here, you can't fucking get them to respond for shit. I had that loose pit bull kept messing with me and they didn't even show up. They won't even show up. Yep. Yep. Oh, Walter. One guy from Denver called me, though, about the claims. And I talked to him about it. Oh, really? Yeah, I was supposed to email him some pictures and I thought about it. He goes, someone called and told him to come pick up trash. I'm thinking, well, who called and what trash did they say to pick up? Because did they find out what trash to pick up? Okay, how are you going to email him those pictures? I don't know if I should do it. Well, I have them. I have the it's pictures. Or something, but Mark so if you have the guy's contact information, I'll, I'll email those yeah, to him. Yeah, for sure. Do I'll you see, have it? I'll see if I can find it. I wrote it down. The city actually, a claims adjuster actually called you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So he if anybody is someone. watching this, you recall that uh, Walter had all of his um, important things thrown away um, a few weeks back. Um, because the trash crew just showed up at 7 o'clock in the morning and just started throwing away his stuff. Well, we made a claim with the city. And, of course, they hadn't followed through. Uh, but apparently they have followed through now. I'll get to it the farther back, I think. Oh, unless it's right there. Oh, there it is right there. Cool. Oh, awesome. Let's write it down on here. Careful. It's almost tripped. Put it on my feet. Well, I got that thing that that guy made. Yeah, how'd it go? Made. How'd it go? It doesn't do nothing. It doesn't but do anything. Can, what I'm gonna do is put. Uh oh, I can't read this, network, Walter. And then you have four smaller ones. What I was gonna do is make four smaller ones and put that thing on top. Because uh, then you okay. got three. That's how they, you know you get more of a flame. Right. When you put it on there, you don't seal it. You have an air that comes through. Okay. And that'll heat it up. I was gonna try that. Okay. And one flame is no, four flames is better than one flame. It doesn't have about the size of the candle. In, what you know? is this guy's name? This is uh Mark. What is this? It's um, Brett. B R E T T dot Malkowich. M A L K O W I C H at, 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 at DenverGov dot uh, org. Yep. Okay, that I can do. It's B R E T T dot the Brett B R E T T uh -huh. dot T, Malkovich sir. at Denver. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure, yeah, because I'm not good at that stuff. Was, I wasn't prepared. All right, I will send those pictures because I, I saved those. I didn't send them to the court with my driver's license. I <laughs> showed them a picture like, here's my driver's license or whatever. And, okay, And now when they dismissed it, I'm like, cool, you know. Did you get proof that it was dismissed? Well, I did it continuous with expired plates. I'm going to go get my plates so I get my plates dismissed. Too. I know, but. Now they're giving you guys on the phone. Right. It's weird. It's on the phone. How do you know who you're talking to or what? And I went all downtown for nothing. That one day it rained on me. I'm like, oh man, I can't believe I came down here. It's on the phone. No one told me. There's no phone there. You get to the courthouse. There's no phone, no pay phone, no nothing. How are you supposed to do it on the phone if there's no phones? It's crazy. I, was, I, I thought I was in a twilight zone for a minute. My daughter gave me some breaks and shovels, though. Oh, we got that broom. Well, see, that's, technically it's like the broom. That's the broom I bought you. Right. Yeah, but, right the, on. The broom, the broom, the bottom part, yeah. Dave's got, because this is a different one, but this one's... A little bit bigger and it's got the squeegee thing, so I switched it out with the handle. Oh, See, okay, okay. Basically the same, except this one's a little stronger. It's got the squeegee and it's got these things that come up. But Dave's got the other one, he's gonna put a handle on it, and I got a shovel and all this stuff and the thing. Mm. Rakes, a couple rakes. <laughs> he's gotta love these rakes, you know, you can go rake and stuff. At least well, I need to like, some up. of your tools I back. I go, I never dump. I said, you can show down here, I never leave trash. I haven't left yet. That's what the dumping was, I haven't left. How can you get me from dumping if I haven't left yet? Oh, you went to the store? I want to go get something to eat. He's been hounding you all fucking day. Yeah, yeah. And I was eating. I was in my car punk. eating. He's going walking around my car and talking shit to me. I open the door and he starts harassing me while I was eating. I'm going, no. He opened your car door? No. I, I, I opened the door. I was sitting there. Uh, okay. He's talking through the door and I'm like. Okay. And he kept going on and on and on. I'm sitting there. I go, dude, I'm trying to eat. It didn't matter why he got off on harassment. He, yeah. Bugging me and walking around and putting park in his thing there and to have me out of here like now. Like, how long is it going to take you to eat? I'm like, oh, no. So we just Don't literally, go there with me, bud. We just literally saw the cops come out here to coordinate IDing a person so they could cite a homeless man for being in the park. Cited him with a failure to ID and dumping. Well, it's a good thing those tickets can go right in the trash. Um, Hang on a second, guys. This is gonna go black for a second. Walter, let me see that ticket. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna have to uh, 
I want to end this stream and then I want to come back and take a picture of that. Oh, could I hang on to it for you? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Let me just hang on to it for you. Because I've got, uh, I'm talking to an attorney, our attorney friend. The... You remember our attorney friend? Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to her tomorrow. Oh, hey, everybody. Look, Walter even got a card. Hey, let's, uh, let's make sure we know what just went down here. Corey Beaton, senior park ranger. Definitely, we should, um have this public information out there. Yeah, this dumb fucker just harassed Walter all fucking day. And Walter finally got sick of his shit and told him he'd had enough, so he decided to call the cops. And uh, we got Denver PD out here within five, 10 minutes to help the park ranger, the senior park ranger, ID Walter and write him a summons for dumping And failure to ID. They're actually <laughs> they're actually using this in the parks. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah, this is an administrative ticket. Park rangers have no authority. Officer Smith is going to Internal Affairs for literally uh, collaborating with the parks to just run people. Um, I'd like to know where in, in policy that they can just show up and uh, use their system to identify people for the parks, huh? Really? So if I wanted to just ident identify someone, I could get the same response, Officer Smith, huh? Yeah, I don't think so. What crime, what crime had Walter committed that involved the police or needed police response? None. Look at the location, Ghost Rider. What, what, what do you mean? Yeah, $300 to Walter. Oh, you want my location is what you're asking. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I don't, I'm, I, it's, I'm, I'm slow. South Platte River Drive and Evans. Evans is right up there. So we're just south of Evans on South Platte River where they have the parking blocks here. We've talked about this too. Um, so I got somebody from the Department of Transportation and Infrastructure finally checking this out after I complained about this like three months ago. This private business literally placed parking blocks in the lane of traffic. Um, yeah, so there's the location, Ghost Rider. There you go. No, this is a this 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 is the shittiest stretch of the South Platte. So this runs throughout the city, okay? And they have in Denver, it's it's the ugliest, it's the it's the least maintained. They do nothing. They built a playground over there in the hood um, that nobody ever uses. And there's the bike path, and that's about it. The rest of this is just a shit show with contaminated river water. Yeah, so there's the scoop. Yeah, trash cans? No, they remove the trash cans because then they have to dump the trash cans. That's why I was telling that dipshit to go dump the trash cans. They're very few and far between for trash cans. Yeah, so Walter just got, uh, so they're not on park property here? Walt, uh, Ghost, how do you know? 
Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I got a guy that's been working on some stuff, um, really identifying where the parks have authority and not. The, from the river to the street right here. From the river to the street. Right. Well, they'll tell you whatever they need to, but that doesn't make it true. So if it's any trash, they can rob the homeless for trash on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, because the homeless, are, you know, they're going to come up with $300 for failure to ID and dumping, which Walter never dumps. Walter is always perfectly clean. Now that other guy and his pile of trash over there, he didn't get, he didn't get talked to about that over there. He didn't get cited. This is all of Walter's belongings. There's no dumping going on here. So little beaten boy, he got uh, beat a little hard in the head. Beaten. Did everybody get that? Let's take another look at that. That little tyrant was shorter than me, so he's about five foot tall. This little senior park ranger, five foot, all five foot of him, called Officer Smith from the Denver Police Department to help ID Walter so they could uh, cite him for a $300 fine. Yeah, that's exactly how bullies operate. Thank you very much. Yeah, Walter, I'm gonna, I'll just keep this in your file, okay? Okay. And then uh, when um, I have my combo tomorrow, I'll let you know what I learned. Don't stress it, all right? Oh, I appreciate it, man. I know you don't. Came out, thank you. You're yeah. the last day I was like, you're the person I call, I'll, just, I'll call a cop, I know. And I call you, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm talking, you're gonna find a word something, you can't be doing this shit. It's there, I couldn't even, I'm sitting there trying to eat a bug of you, how long are you gonna take them? Or what? They call the cops, you call me. That's how it works. <laughs> for sure, yeah, I appreciate it. So that ball worked out good, huh? Good. Yeah, yeah, it works out perfectly. All right, keep me posted. Oh. I'm, 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 I'm near, okay? You have enough, you have enough gas, you have a bucket check, Bob, for two bucks? I'm out of gas, actually. Yeah. We need the last one, but I'm moving down. I'm moving down out, and I'm moving back down. So yeah, down. is that where you're going? Yeah, but I'm not going to go along this way, because this guy is like this, and I want to be like this. Uh, yeah, let me drive over here. I'll be right back. Yeah, poor Walter. I'm telling you. This guy... He just stands his ground. Um, Walter and I have worked on a lot of things together. And Walter is one of the uh, kindest, most helpful people you'll ever meet in your life. Um, harmless absolutely harmless but i suppose that little fucking four foot nine little tyrant um got his balls stuck in his throat when walter started telling him off because uh walter will stand his ground yeah he is matt he he very much is very very kind soul and very willing to uh, work through things. Just, uh, you know, again, misunderstood, overlooked, and harassed. They're just easy targets. I just, it's mind blowing to me. These cops can't respond to shit out here. But if it involves a homeless person, they are fucking Johnny on the spot. Johnny on the spot. <sighs> what a bunch of shit. Um, Ghost Rider. So the approximate location that's written down on this ticket is park maintained property at Iliff dash South Platte River Drive. So, what a little punk. Fucking cop to run him. I, I wonder how they, they verified they ran the right person. I wonder how that works. How does that work, Denver PD? 
when you guys just continue to partner with the parks over this bullshit. Unreal. Ghost Rider, they essentially say they don't own it right there, but maintain it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess that's, yeah. I guess that's what they're saying. So, again, trash. But I do, I do, um, I have a list of a uh, few very concerning things that I need to talk with um, an attorney tomorrow that uh, my nonprofit gets advice from. And we're going to be exploring some of this tomorrow. Um, now perhaps an attorney is going to take this on at some point. Uh, I don't know. But these administrative tickets, it's just... The worst that can happen is they turn you into collections. So we just have to make sure in some instances like this, since that little fucking tyrant got uh, Walter's driver's license number from the cop, um, that they can't take action against the driver's license. So that's, that's what we're going to discuss tomorrow. And I have another case like this as well. Yeah, that's right. Ghost Rider, Warren. Yeah, the mud puddles need attending like that little four foot nine little tyrant going face first in the mud. Yeah, that's how they need um, attended to. Yeah, you know, Ellie, um, I think they would have pulled some more shit had I not been there. Walter very rarely calls me and um, when he calls, something's up. So I was close and uh, why can't they just leave them alone, MLH? Well, <laughs> wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? Why can't cops just do their fucking job? Why can't these little tyrants go take care of the people that are graffitiing and actually destroying the parks, all the gang activity in the parks? How come they don't go get tough with all the little gang bangers in the park? Why don't they call the cops to assist them to do that? Because it's so much easier and so much fun to pick on a homeless guy mm -hmm. or gal. Power trip, George. Thank you very much. Not park property, zero authority. All right, ghost. Well, yeah, maybe uh, maybe that'll just sum it right up as well. Or just give them a garbage can if that's the big issue. Like I said, they took the garbage cans out of the fucking park because they didn't want to dump them. That's Denver. This is what they do. This is what they do. Yep, I'm sending Smith to IA because what he did, um, you know what? It's just reminiscent back to February 1st, the night of February 1st. Oh, hey, everybody, I haven't done an update. If anybody is wondering about all those new criminal cases that District 4 is creating on me, one of those got dropped this past Thursday. So that's one of three new cases that got dropped. Plus, I'm still scheduled for trial for getting arrested um, last August. I'm scheduled for trial on the 29th. But the new, the three new cases they created, uh, one of them promptly got dismissed. And it was the one involving me walking into District 4, filming myself, handing a cop a complaint. And her coming back with a card of Sergeant Poloni, who took my complaint, who subsequently, by the way, I confirmed, threw it in the trash. Uh, because I asked for the complaint to go to the Office of the Independent Monitor. And I asked the Office of the Independent Monitor what the current status was on my complaints with that office. And currently, there are four District 4 cops. Um... 
let's just say being disciplined right now for complaints that are old. Um, so yeah, District 4 is really, really pissed off at me. Uh, four other cops are getting disciplined right now for harassing the homeless and for not wearing body cam or not activating their body cams. So, um, anyway, that's the, that's the new criminal charge that got dismissed. No, Irish Rover, I don't, I, no, I'm not convinced of that because when the cops lie to the judge, of course the judge should, should sign a warrant for the way it's presented to him. I mean, if you fucking ball face lie on an arrest warrant affidavit, I, that's how people get arrested. And then it's up to you to remain guilty until you prove yourself innocent, right? So it was just her tone. Whose tone? The judge's? When did you hear the judge's tone? Oh, that's different. That's a different judge. The trial that you called into or the, the arraignment that you called into and listened to, um, that was a magistrate. <laughs> uh, that was my first advisement on that unlawful conduct on public property charge. And then the next day I was in another courtroom for the case they had just filed four days prior Saturday night at 1.30 in the morning, Sunday morning at 1.30, they filed another unlawful conduct on public property charge on me. And that's the one that promptly got dismissed on Thursday. So they filed it on Sunday and it got dismissed on Thursday. And now I go back to court next for my trial. And then not till April on the other things. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing that, uh, at least one of those three new charges, another one, is going to get dropped. So I think two out of the three are going to get dropped. Um, I think there's a chance the other one might get dismissed. If I look at some things about maybe not going to trial on the other case, I don't know. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on because of all of the deception that took place with District 4. How could a lawyer prove they were harassing me? Well, you know, it's, they can, they can do that. <laughs> no ankle monitor for me, Irish Rover. I'm, ch look, do I really want one? It'd be kind of cute. I could bedazzle it. I could, it's almost short weather, right? I could do a cute little band on it, but do I really want one? I really don't. <laughs> We'll have to save that for next summer. You record, record, record. I record everything. I record everything. But <laughs> going into going into a courtroom, and until you've been charged criminally, you have to go through the process. Okay, so I have to go to trial, or I have to, you know, continue to file complaints through the office of the independent monitor with what District Four is doing. And I have all kinds of complaints. We still haven't resolved this major one with them arresting me over that bogus warrant that they produced at the spur of the moment, even after they were supposed to just give me a citation on the other warrant for the order in only, but ended up working a new warrant. It just, it's so stupid. This is, this is just a culmination of some very, um, What's the right word for, for Joey Sartain, you guys? What's the right word? Eric, he didn't dump anything. He didn't dump one single thing. He doesn't even have a single piece of trash there. He's got a few of his bins with his tools and some things sitting right there, but that's about it. So. The judges believe the cops no matter what. I know. That's our judicial system. That's why um, I no longer support the death penalty. Never will. I am a thorn in the side of District 4. Yeah, I am, because they're dirty. 
and they're dumb. I this is where the dumbest cops come. I I think dumb equals violent. So it's not uh, Joey Sartain is a narcissistic asswipe. Yes, he is. He sure the hell is. So that other deal with the camper, uh, where we were talking about uh, District 4, taking a guy's camper, they literally just took it. And we're going to have to work on that through internal affairs uh, because we don't have any allies in District 4 to ensure that the right things are done for an investigation that should have happened. So everyone that was involved with uh, confiscating tried to help get back, but I took him to impound. Hang on, you guys. Okay, sorry, I had to turn my battery on. Um, when I tried to take a, a friend to uh, impound to get his RV out, there's too many red flags of actual um, cop corruption out of District 4. So it's, it's not good. They had absolutely no reason to tow that camper. Um, he legitimately purchased it. He had the title. They kept the title from him. All of a sudden, the previous owners on that title are calling the impound lot, claiming the RV, but it's not stolen. Where did they get the information that the RV was there? From the cops. Yeah, so there was a lot of talk about the Sheriff's Department telling us to go back to District 4 and see if we could get the officers there to um, reopen the the investigation that they kind of started but never really did so yeah they're trying to steal it and you know what you guys it's a nice rv it's a 1997 diesel pusher and it's in good shape it is a nice rv i saw pictures of it and this young man used um some of his uh, stimulus money and some of uh money that he worked for to buy that rv um, he also had a, a generator on the outside of it. I think the generator may have been the one thing that didn't work on it. Um, they stole his generator as well. Supposedly EHS came for that and put it in storage, but one will never know because there was no name associated with that as far as I know. So I'm just gonna, we're just, we're just gonna have to file another complaint and hope that it works out between the honesty at the sheriff's department at the impound lot and <laughs> whatever 50 50 chance we have with dpd internal affairs to do the right thing but the percentages are higher than trying to get district four to do the right thing so hey eat your broccoli yeah that uh, and that rv is uh, accumulating impound charges of 40 dollars a day it was already at $350 a day. Well, one of the previous owners did sign the title, right? We talked about that, but the second one didn't. So we thought maybe, oh, they suck bad. We thought maybe it was a case of maybe the guy trying to sell property out from under the wife. I mean, they had the same last name. Maybe it's something domestic, divorce, blah, blah, blah. But then when the sheriff's department indicated as to who it actually was that called uh, the sheriff's department, well, they didn't give a name, but uh, it was obvious that both owners know um, that that RV is at that impound lot. So there's some fraud going on. And uh, thankfully the sheriff's department is not gonna just release that RV to anybody the previous owners that show up and say, hey, it's mine, give it back. They're not gonna do that. And I'm gonna double down and wrap it up in an internal affairs complaint so the RV actually gets put on an investigative hold um, through the process. So 
this this man that owns this RV right now, he wants to he wants his property back. So this is the only way. This is the only way we can think to do it right now. And of course, um, that's another topic of discussion with um, the attorney tomorrow. So we'll see where things are going to stand there. And yeah, if there's any attorneys that want to take this on and start uh, suing the hell out of Denver for uh, <laughs> stealing people's property, I mean, yeah, let me know. Let me know when. So. Cajun Randy, hello. Work Lion, when man dominates man... It is to his injury because power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Yeah, I'm the real thing, work lion. I'm, I'm the real thing. Yep, they'd steal your breath if they could, Irish Rover. Absolutely. All right, well, you guys, I'm going to... Bye, Irish Rover. Take, thank you for popping in. I'm going to go over here and finish up with Walter and help him out with a couple things. And uh, we'll see where this one goes. But I'm glad Walter called me. He did the right thing. I just have to remind him and everyone else, stop talking. Don't give him your name. Just don't. You're not required to do it. Just don't. He's committing no crime. None. Thank you, Eat Your Broccoli. Bye, MLH. Thanks, guys. It was good to see all of you. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Yeah, we are getting a big snowstorm. This is going to be another who knows what between 5 and 10 inches over the next one or three days. We don't know. So it just makes things even more difficult. But yeah. Morphous Hound. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for popping in. John and Eve, hey. Well, I'm just about to end it. <laughs> You'll have to go back and watch it again. Okay. Thank you, Joseph. All right. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you to each and every one of you. I know I don't highlight everybody that does for this nonprofit, but I need you to know that you're very much appreciated. And so are your donations. So, Keep them coming because that's how this nonprofit survives. Hey, Canada. All right, you guys, take care.